Hello guys, welcome to Bing Engineers. Today I have a new measuring instrument with me. It is Mastec MAS830L. It is a digital multimeter. Previous of these I have used analog multimeter and I have used this multimeter also. This is also a digital multimeter. This is DT830D. But I have decided to upgrade the multimeter so I bought this and I will be doing the unboxing of this in this video. This is a three and half digit digital multimeter from Mastec entry level multimeter. So without making much delay, let's try to unbox this. But let me tell you, I have bought it from local market and they have checked it. So the seal is broken. Now let's see what is on the box. It says the brand name Mastec, the serial number MAS830L, digital multimeter, pocket size. It had a backlit display. It can hold the data, can read the AC voltage up to 600 volt, can read the DC voltage also at to up to 600 volt, can read the DC current up to 10 ampere. It gives the specification. It can take the voltage reading, current reading, ohm meter is there. It can check a diode, can determine the beta value of a transistor and other specifications are notified here the applications are electrical repair appliances repair home wearing projects etc etc let's look here the back side the all ranges are given here so this is a cat 2 certified multimeter that means it can take the reading up to 600 volt dc and ac so let's unbox it This is a main multimeter and the probe we can see. Let's put this side and check what are there in the box. This is instruction manual, nothing special. Four or five pages of instruction manual, all in English. That's good. This is Mastec. Uh, calibration certificate it says that this certificate guarantees that the product has been inspected and tested in accordance with the published certification and this is the calibration certificate certified logo of Mastec so put this in the box put it aside break the seal here yes it is already open actually So these are the probes, this is the main unit, this is the multimeter, this is Mastec MAS803L, these are the probes, let's look first at the probes. It looks the probe will be of 1 meter, yes. The probe is of 1 meter, good quality probe. Mastec logo is there. It says it can handle up to 10 ampere of current. So it looks like it a CAT3 certified probe. So it means that it can take the reading up to 1000 volt, but the multimeter is CAT2 certified. So we can't use it up over 600 volt. It has the caps. So nothing special with the probe, but the probe looks of good quality. This is the main unit. Looks steady, little heavy. I think it is written here. Yes, it is 160 gram of weight. It is a bumper case, I suppose. Yes, it is a bumper case, thick bumper case, a stand is so this. Let's put it back in the bumper case. So that's it. It is the multimeter. Uh, it is a backlight button, hold button, the rotary switch looks steady. 
this is the common terminals this is unfused 14 ampere this is fused to measure the voltage mainly this is written here cat to certified 600 volt as you can i think you can see the backlight it is green this is this is the hold button the age letter signifies that it can take the voltage reading from 200 millivolt to 600 volt this is the off position in the opposite direction it can take the ac voltage from 200 to 600 volt these are these are the current reading 200 micro ampere to 10 ampere these are the ohm meter from 200 ohm to 2 mega ohm this is the continuity tester this is for the transistor checking now let's put the probe in the black one goes will go to a common this will go to this fuse terminal now let's check the continuity tester if it's work yes you can hear the sound the continuity tester is working fine now let's check some voltage reading i'll be using two 9 volt battery back to back These are these are two 9 volt batteries I have. Let's connect them in series. Yes, these are connected in series. Now let's check the reading. It is given at 20 volt because both are 9 volt battery and these are in use. So the total voltage will not exceed 20 volt at any cost. This is the positive terminal. Let's put it here. This is the negative terminal this is showing 18.1 volt so looks good now we'll check it with uh, another power source i have put the regulator at 6 volt so let's check it first of all we have to remove the cap yes so this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal it is giving us 5.4 volt it's okay because I know the power bin supply which I have is not accurate let's switch up the bin supply so looks like a good multimeter I will test it more and give you some review in some later days if possible so that's it in this tutorial i will be creating a playlist on this multimeter while i will give some more tutorials about how to use a multimeter how to check a transistor how to check a diode how to know if a capacitor is working by using a multimeter etc then i will try to give a full review of this multimeter if possible now thank you for watching like this video if you have learned something new subscribe to our channel being engineering share this video follow our facebook page the link will be given in the description till then bye take care